Hello YouTube, this is the fourth video in our HTML5 Canvas Basics tutorial series. In this video we're going to be drawing arcs using Canvas and creating circles using those arcs. Um, I'll just get right into it. We're just going to be using the arc method, nothing new. Other than that, we'll be using the fill style var class variable. Um, well, actually, let's stroke it first so that you can see the shape of the line. Um, we'll do black. You know what? I'm gonna stop using RGB. Step out there. Okay. Um, we will begin a path, even though we don't need to. We will draw an arc, and we will close the path, and then stroke. Okay. Nothing new there except for this arc. So the arc method has six parameters I believe. The first two are the x and y position of the arc, of the center of the arc, which we'll say are 300, 300. And then the third parameter is the radius. So if you want to do di diameter, obviously you multiply whatever your radius is by two, or divide your diameter by two for this value. Sorry. Um, so let's let's use diameter actually. Variable diameter. I believe that's how you spell it. Um, we'll say the diameter is 200 pixels. So our radius would be diameter divided by two. And then. The next two are the starting and closing angle of the arc. So it's using a standard Cartesian coordinate system. So it's going to start on the horizontal x-axis to the right. Um, you'll see that in a second. But I'm just going to draw half, an, half a circle or half a full arc to start with. And then I'll draw a full arc after that to show you that you can make an arc into a circle. So we'll start at angle 0 so you can see where 0 is and we'll go to angle pi or in, degree, in, in degrees that would be 180. So we'll use math.pi times I guess just math.pi. Um, we can't use degrees here because that's not the format that JavaScript uses by default for degrees or for angles. And then the last one is whether you're going counterclockwise around the um, if your angle is counterclockwise or clockwise. By default it's counterclockwise so if you want the default value you write true and we're going to go with true. So we can save that give it a run and we have this half an arc. It starts here, goes around pi degrees, or pi, a pi angle, and then closes the path. I'm going to get rid of that path thing. I don't know why I keep using it. We don't need that yet. So there you go. I, if I make that half pi, which would be 90 degrees, Now I can switch the direction, and it'll go that way rather than that way. So if I wanted uh, let's see, 90 degrees the other way, I would have to do math.pi plus math.pi times 2. And we'll make sure that we're getting our order of operations right. There we go. So 
Now we can go all the way around by doing 2 pi. And we have a full circle. It looks kind of weird right there because we're stroking with one pixel. But we can change the line width, which we learned in the last tutorial, to 3. It doesn't really matter for circles what your line width is. It doesn't matter if it's even or odd, whatever, because it's not a straight line. Um, there you go. Now we can, what we can do is we can fill it. We'll comment out our stroke. I, what's going on there, Haas? Okay, C dot fill. And our fill style will be uh, a gray color, grayish color. So now we have a gray filled circle. Now we can fill and stroke is not it's not an either or kind of thing, so you can stroke and you can fill at the same time. So now we have a stroke circle. As you can see, what what I tried what I was trying to show you in the last tutorial is that the when it strokes it it strokes half of the width on either side. So half of the width is getting covered up by the fill on this one. Half of the width of the stroke is getting covered up. So that's why the line is only a pixel and a half thick. If I go to ten or rather twenty, we'll see that we have a it, what looks like a 10 pixel wide line that is really a 20 pixel wide line because it goes out to here. Now if I take away my fill, if I don't fill it, I have a 20 pixel wide line. Alright, well that's it for arcs. Actually, let me show you that we can mess with our diameter. Go back to four on that. So cool. Um, that's about it for that. We can also actually we can move it around. Uh, if you set that to zero zero, the center of the circle is going to be at zero zero on the canvas, rather than the corner of the circle. I guess there's no box around the circle; it's positioned by the center. So that's it for the arcs. In the next tutorial, we're going to be doing images. We're going to be drawing images onto our canvas. It's kind of a confusing concept. You can't use an HTML image tag with that. Um, we have to create image objects, but you'll see that in the next tutorial. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.